The following is in no particular order. 10 things I love about... Number 1. The console dock. The Nintendo Switch's dock is something interesting, but to be frank, I love that it's original. I was getting tired of seeing the same design for the last 10 years. Number 2. Multiple controller configurations. Just knowing that I have options of how I want to play versus being forced to use something I don't want to use time and time again is amazing. I can play all my games with either the Joy-Con controllers attached, detached, and even with the Switch Pro controller. And no matter what I use, I'll get roughly the same button layout throughout. Number 3. That Switch Click. Yes. This may be a thing that was totally exaggerated in the trailer, but nonetheless, it just sounds satisfying. Personally though, I think I just mess around with the Joy-Cons just for this sound. Number 4. The return of game cartridges. Gone are the days of scratch disc, broken disc, and that annoying feeling to find out your disc is messed up. Now, game cartridges are back, or as Nintendo calls them, game cards. Cartridges makes everything easier, you could carry them in bulk, put them, you know, on top of each other, and you don't have to worry about how you hold it. It's a win-win for all. Number 5. The Headphone Jack. The fact that Nintendo didn't do what they did back for the Game Boy Advance SP, or more recently with what Apple did to the iPhone 7, I think speaks for itself. Number 6. The Kickstand. The Wii U gamepad should have had the kickstand. It was annoying to have to lean it back on something to use it only as a screen. Now with the Switch's kickstand, I can just prop the Switch anywhere and play with ease. Number 7. The Name. Finally, oh finally, the mainstream public can stop calling the Wii U, the Wii, or the 3DS, the DS. I'm sorry, but this is a major pet peeve of mine and it could finally rest in peace. Sure, the name Switch isn't great, but it suits it better than the Wii U, which was a horrible name that was accompanied by a mediocre excuse. At least the Super Nintendo felt super with its power, or the Nintendo 64 with its 64-bit processor. Hell, even the GameCube has a better suitable name because of its design. So kudos to you, Nintendo. You did something right. Number eight. It's a new Nintendo system. Having a new console to exclusively play the future iterations of Zelda and other Nintendo greats is just satisfying. Playing these games anywhere else just feels weird. Number 9. Full console games on the go and handheld games on the big screen. I probably wasn't the only one who has dreamed of playing a full-fledged Call of Duty, Skyrim, 2K, Dragon Ball Z game on the go. Be it on the airplane, train, furthermore, we can finally get that full-fledged home console Pokemon game the fan base has clamored on for years. Number 10. True Innovation. Nintendo, you my dear friends, might just pull another successful console like the Wii. But this doesn't feel like a gimmick. This feels like true innovation. With the Wii U provided, the Switch refined it and took it multiple steps forward. I'm pretty sure that PlayStation and Xbox owners are looking at the Switch right now as something more serious. And dare I say, mature for all. Sure, this might not be for the casual people, but that's what smartphones are out there to do. To me, the Switch feels like it's targeted for true gamers who can enjoy their games on the go and... Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and tell me what 10 things you love about the Nintendo Switch. Or, tell me what game or console you want me to do in the future. And most importantly, subscribe. You know Super Mario World's my favorite game? <laughs>